I'm sorry, I don't have long. La Hamelia's coming for us all. La Hamelia has begun to move in on Tom Nook's territory, destroying a whole part of the island to take over. It's too early to be thinking like this. I don't even know what life is anymore. La Hamelia has begun its takeover of the of Tom Nook's territory. So he's building a staging ground here where we need to flatten the front part of the island and create like this whole like Italian area where which will be like the staging ground for La Hamelia uh, in the territory which I think is going to be a lot of fun. And we have all of this open land here. Well, open, it needs to be destroyed a little bit. Uh, and I think maybe it would be funny to have it in front of resident services to be like, no, this is Marlowe's now. And it'll be like his piece de resistance before he dies. Because we do know that Marlowe doesn't have long in this world, right? So this is going to be like Marlowe's like, best build ever to really show what he's worth. So, unfortunately, since I am this island's taskmaster, now not only do I have to work for Tom Nook, but I also have to work for Don Marlowe, because I'm scared for my life, and I've already had an eye removed. And if I don't help him build this area, then uh, I'm going to get some broken kneecaps. And quite frankly, I like being able to walk, so... I decided that having this central pathway through this little Italy district would be really nice leading right up to the doors of the resident services to really show like Marlowe kind of trying to take over as his last hurrah and building this whole district here and using these medieval walls to kind of create this village is going to be a lot of fun and we can experiment with it a lot. Right, so let's get the design code that we need for this. So this is going to blow your minds. And then now we have these hanging baskets. These are going to be used for our banners. And since they have a clear background, they will actually show up like they're a hanging basket. I think I'm going to go with the purple because I only really want to download one. All right. So if we go into customization now, we've got that for the banners, but we go in here and we do that. And look, it looks like a, and it even swings in the wind, which is pretty adorable too. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. It's close enough to perfect to be used. Ooh. This place, medieval building. But the other way, why do you hate me, game? Like, what have I done to you? Like, realistically, what have I done to deserve your hate? I don't think I've done anything. I've shown you nothing but love and kindness. And you want to place your dirty little walls all willy-nilly like this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It looks really good. Goes through here. I think what I'll do is I'll move the road this way. And then that way, this this little village comes down. And then we have a road here. So we'll have to expand this this way. Maybe we'll do like a little forest or a little garden through here. Well, not all the way through here. Just a small one. For these buildings, I really wanted to have different depth to them and make narrower and wider alleyways to kind of try and make it feel like an old Italian village. And I think we can achieve this pretty effectively. In this spot here, we're going to start a little like botanical garden area. So we're going to have a courtyard in here with trees and all sorts of stuff like that. Sit on it. You, you can turn the light on and off though. That's cool. It's the middle of the day. We ain't wasting no electricity. But first and foremost, we're going to get screwed right now. I can feel it. Lubeless, right? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, hup. Wait. Hup. Oh, who's your daddy? And we should be able to boink it right in. very much like how this is coming out because then we got Marlo's house that's going to be over there and then uh, I just like having the streets feel kind of like like everything's built really close and then we'll build another building right here so we'll make this little alleyway feel close then we'll open it up into the street down here like we have so much room for this Italian district uh just super happy look at this it's not even fully built but it's it's coming together so nicely I think one thing that I do have to figure out now 
Because if this road is going to come out straight this way now, we have to change up how this whole thing flows. Because we, we want to bring the road into this area, right? Like, it doesn't make sense if we don't. It's beautiful. Especially, I got to figure out what I want to do right here. And then if we want to keep this road, obviously we need to keep this road right here. Um, but we got to figure out what we want to do right here. So we got to figure out that transition. Um, there's definitely quite a few things that we got to figure out still. And a lot to decorate. <laughs> there's so much to this. I really didn't like having this just completely empty up here. So I figured maybe we need to do a little bit of a test to kind of make this feel like it's, I guess, the, the top of the building up here. Now, we have a couple different options, I think. The first one kind of just being like this. Maybe, maybe even layering two of these like this. So we can do the, yeah, the loft bed with den desk again, or with the desk again. Kind of put it like that. The problem with this is it's not quite big enough to fill the hole gap. But I think the only real problem is down near the, the little walkway over here. So let's see what it looks like as we go through here. And I think that helps a little bit. It'd be really cool if I could put a purgle up there, but I don't think it's going to fit. So I decided on something for this last building that I thought would be pretty cool. I still gotta test it out a little bit. We're making a, just a little walkway right here, and I think maybe I'll put like a bistro table if I have some room. Or actually, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna put here right now, but I do know that up top here, I made a little entrance with a rope ladder, and I wanted to kind of have this be like a, uh, like a garden up top. So I'm gonna have to put something down on the ground and I'll put like a pergola, maybe like a bistro table or something would look really nice. And then I'll have to find a good design to put on the ground. Yeah, so we'll put a bistro table right there and maybe we'll have to change it up a little bit, but I think it's gonna look really good. You know what? I think this up here came out actually not so bad. We can move around. I kind of wanted to put another bistro table up here, um, but I think it looks good without the bistro table. And then from down here, you can kind of see that we got something going on up there, which is pretty nifty. And then our alleyway here is looking really good. We've got some nice depth. I need to add in a couple more lights and stuff. And I need to finish this side of the building. <laughs> Trying to do a couple different things to spice up the areas down here. Uh, I do have actually more of the, actually, how would a garden bench look down here? I think there's not enough room, but there might be room for these steel fences. Uh, I don't know if I like them though. We'll probably use the steel fences down here. I do have a luxury car that I wanna put down here somewhere. Uh, but we're getting pretty close to having finished off at least what we can build uh, today. Because I still I still need to come all the way down here and we need we have a ton more than I need to do. I need to fill out this. I want to put some trees in along the road here as well. Not a hundred percent sure how we're gonna do that. Probably put some benches down as well. We have one of these monsteras too, so using this as a, like an outdoor plant might look nice. Maybe I'll put it right next to this uh, lamp if I can. Ah. See, I wish we could get things just closer together. We need like that one command that you can get in Sims where I think it's like the, the move objects thing. You can just put like objects wherever you want. It makes life so, so nice. I think what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna put another bistro table. I'm pretty sure I've got another one in here somewhere. I've got garden benches, that might not look bad. There we go, that, yeah, that, uh, that bistro table looks really good with the tree there. And then over here, I want to put like a telephone booth and maybe a little bench here. I think we have, what is this? Yeah, the lecture hall bench, which if you paint it like this dark color, it looks pretty good. And squeeze that here. We'll put a tree down and then maybe like scooters and cars and stuff along the road. 
and we probably need some fire hydrants. We need some fire safety in Little Italy, right? There's going to be like wars going on down here. So ladies and gentlemen, I do think this is probably one of the best builds I've ever done in Animal Crossing. It's came out so good. It's came out so good. It, it's so good. I don't even know how to words. Uh, I haven't decided quite what I want to do over here. Maybe add some shops and stuff. But this is easily my favorite setup so far. The above ground area there for like the little bistro came out really nice. There's some things that I want to add that I just don't have right now. And then I'll probably add some trash bags and stuff. But the main reason I didn't finish decorating this is because I don't know how I want this to flow quite yet. But I mean, I have the, the main part of this built so that way I can start decorating it for other things as well. So the, the next plan of this is going to be moving everything out this way, putting Marlo's house here and having this whole like botanical garden set up through here, which is going to be really, really nice. But uh, I do hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's inspired you to make your own like amazing little Italian district on your island. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.